what does connection really look like or mean? What, what are we wanting in connection? We're going to talk about bonding and attachment and all that stuff, but um, connection, what we're really looking for, we're looking to be accepted, to be loved, to um, connect to something outside of ourselves. Um, and how do we do that? How do we really um, learn to connect and relate to people in healthy ways? Um, you know, in some ways we kind of take it for granted and we think like we know how to relate to people, we know how to connect, and yet there's an element of really connecting with people below the surface, a way of connecting to people that really meets those longings of our hearts or that really kind of meets that need for connection that doesn't just come without intentionality. Think about um, just how rampant things like depression are in the world that at their core, a lot of times there's that loneliness and isolation that people, even though we are interconnected and we rub shoulders with people all the time and we are not necessarily living in isolation, yet people feel that sense of isolation, feel disconnected or feel a lack of connection with other people even though they're in a room, a crowded room, or have friends. Um, but how do, with intentionality, we begin to learn to connect to people in different in more meaningful ways. This is something that um, uh, one of the, the families that graduated just um, in the fall shared that was most impactful for them as, um, as parents, even outside of their relationship with their daughter and outside of trying to support her, but just that idea that as they were more intentional with their friendships and kind of looked at these different relational needs that we'll talk about, is that they began to incorporate that in their lives, in their relationships, in their friendships, um, their family connections, and even in their marriage relationship of looking at, man, what is it that I need and how do I look at myself as responsible to go and meet those needs and not necessarily wait for other people um, to meet my needs for me and to notice what it is I'm needing or to just kind of fill me up in a way, but recognizing that it's intentionality. It's this idea that I have to uh, take seriously my relational needs and my ability to get them met. So it's kind of like speaking a language. But, you know, we're, we're taught um, growing up, you, you know, you, you learn to relate to people in English, right? Well, what if you want to make a Spanish speaking friend? What are you going to do? Just kind of hope that they learn English well enough to talk to you? Or do you kind of learn their language as well? Or, um, you know, what would it be like to try to um, be friends with somebody else where you just can't speak the same language and have to rely on other ways of connecting? But if you really want to connect with other people, it is like speaking a language. Um, similarly, if you know, we learn about different things like taking care of our physical body and things like that, but do we intentionally take the time to learn about relationship and how to connect and how to meet relational needs and all that stuff? So um, we're teaching a language, we're talking about intentionality, and so today the goal is to really walk through these things um, just one by one.